guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick update for my single ladies and my man Matt project pan. This is a collab with a bunch of lovely ladies. They will of course be linked down below. In the beginning of the year we started this project and we decided to work on some single shadows and a matte palette. Again it started at the beginning of the year and it is going on until we don't have any matte palettes in our collection or just I don't know. We are going to figure out a solution when we don't have any matte palettes left. I chose to pan my Morphe 35OM palette for my My Man Matte, which is the matte palette. For the single ladies, it was four singles and you could either hit pan and then rotate them out or just finish them. I have chosen just to hit pan and then roll another one in and then just finish them up on a later date. Let's get into the update for my Morphe palette. I will insert a picture from last time. Last update I had three pans and I can happily say that I have four now. So the new pan is that one right there. I do use that in my crease. I'm pretty excited about that. I have been kind of digging I'm not proud to say that. I have been digging into the shadow because I use a small brush for my lower lash line with that shadow and a fluffy brush for my crease. And it just happens that the smaller brush is a little bit stiff, so it... There, there's a hole. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to have a pan on that and then I can just move on to a new shadow. I have been digging in... Not digging, but I have been using that shadow as well as uh, that one in the crease. This is a little bit lighter. I think that is the next shadow that I'm going to focus on. I'm just going to be using these orangey tones. I really, really like them. And I have been using this shade a lot in my transition shade, as my transition shade. And I have been loving that look. I have some, I have most of the shades on today, actually. Yeah, and then you can see the some digging right there. I have been using that a lot in my eyebrows. I don't know what to say about this palette. It is going slowly, but I I didn't have the intention to finish this in a year. That would be insane because the Morphe Matte formula is tightly pressed. It's a little bit dry and there are 35 shades in this. <laughs> so I'm just chugging away. I'm really, really enjoying it. And when that's set, Let's go on to the single ladies. I have a new pan. Pretty excited. So, new pans this month. The pan is in my Kigo eyeshadow single in 139. It was the rose gold shade. See that pan? Right there. I have used this all over my lid a lot. A really a lot. And since I have pan, I haven't really used it. I have been focusing on the other single shadows in this project and I'm really excited to be rolling this out and focus on something else and get a new lid shade. <laughs> so in that place I have put in my Color Rain Side of Olives single eyeshadow. This is brand new. I swatched it once. I bought it December last year. So I have had it for like half a year or something and I haven't used it. So I was craving this more olive green shadow. I have been wearing this kind of bronzy, orangey, covery look for five, six months now. So I am craving something else. So I am putting in this olive shade and I love pairing a green like this with an orangey crease. So it is going to match perfectly with my Morphe palette, like perfectly. So I'm really, really excited to be working on that. And then I have been using this, oh, the white has come in it, but I have been using this eyeshadow a lot as my liner shade. It is the single eyeshadow from Kigo in 54. And the, the dip is, yeah, you can see it. The dip is right there and I have it on as my liner. I have it on top of a creamy eyeliner and then I set it with this, if that makes sense. And I have a little bit of this in my outer corner as well. So that is how I really, really like this eyeshadow. 
I have been struggling to find a way to use this because all over the lid it's not good. Outer corner, fine. Crease, fine. But I really prefer it as a liner right now and on the lower lash line. The next eyeshadow I want to talk to you guys about is the Benefit Call Me Buff eyeshadow. You can see there is a dip forming. This is a satin finish cream shade. I love to use it in my inner corner right here to brighten up and give it a small shine. So it's not that intense, but again, there's a dip it. And then for the last eyeshadow, I have my Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan. This is my go-to lid shade at the moment. So you can see the dip is amazingly huge. <laughs> I mainly use my fingers with this because I haven't found a brush yet that is amazing with this shadow to pack on the lid. I really really like it just applying with my fingers. I find that is getting more pigment. You can see there is a line yeah, there in the middle. I have tried to on a angled smaller brush to set my liner on my lower lash line with it can't really see that but that is how it is looking like right now i'm really excited about that dip and i'm loving it i will say i think it is fading throughout the day and um, so maybe my base is just not sticky enough for it and maybe it's just better with a glitter glue but i'm not going to change up my base just to use a glitter glue with this i will really like it as it is now i just think i have tried to spray it it makes it patchy so I don't know if that is my setting spray or is it just that shadow that is weird it's just a shimmer finish it's not a foil or anything it's a beautiful shadow so that's that I'm really excited that the four single layers I have in this project is in my C palette so I don't have any single eyeshadow laying around for this project at least I am planning a few in another project so that is everything for my update. I hope you guys like it. Please check out the other ladies down below if you haven't already. They are doing amazing and most of them are panning an elf palette and they are doing so good. And I am just the one that chose an overwhelming large palette at the beginning. I only have... Let me just say that I can, I can say it. On top of my head I only have two more all matte palettes in my collection and they are both from W7. It is the major matte and then the Life's a Peach palette. This is how they are looking like. So when I finish my Morphe palette or just want to change it up or maybe change it out or something, I am going to use these. I have thought about it. I'm obviously not going to be done with the Morphe palette by the end of the year, but I have thought about changing it up so I don't pan the same big palette next year. So I can always go back to it because again, it do this project does not end before we have no more <laughs> matte shadows basically, which is never ending. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this pa palette, no product. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and if you did, give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next update. And my other panning videos, I have a lot going on lately and I have just started a new one. That is my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan and I'm really excited about it. So please check it out down below or on my channel overall and again until my next video please take care